Hello again and welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us. Each spring, sometime between February and May, camellias are in bloom. Camellias are some of the most beautiful flowers in the spring garden. We've got a camellia in our garden, but we've decided that we want two more camellias as well. We've been out to a local nursery and we've bought two of these camellias. Camellias, of course, originate in South and East Asia. They were originally found in the sort of woodland and the forest in that part of the world. And they were brought over to this country about 300 years ago by plant hunters. And ever since, they have provided really prized flowers in the spring. Here are the two camellias that we've bought and which we are going to plant. As you can see, they are two completely different sizes. The camellia that we've got here, this one costs about £13. You can see that it's not so big. It'll have a few flowers this year, but it'll really start to come into its own next year and the years afterwards. This is the one that I bought. Because I'm retired, I could only afford quite a small camellia. This one here, this is the one that my wife bought. She's still working, and so she could afford to spend £50 on a really bright, beautiful camellia. And you can see that this one has got lots and lots of flowers for an immediate effect. Anyway, we're going to start planting. I'm going to start planting my flower to begin with, my camellia to begin with. Now this camellia of mine is Camellia Brushfields Yellow. It's got a lovely pale yellow flower and we're going to plant it into this pot here. Now camellias love acidic soil. They don't really like an alkaline soil. This is one of the main reasons why we are going to be planting these in pots. Our soil is alkaline, it's not really suited to camellias and so we need to put it in pots with uh, an ericaceous compost that is going to suit it. If you're not sure whether you've got an alkaline or an acidic soil, you can just get one of these little testing kits from a local nursery, garden centre, and you'll be able to find out, do a little test to find out what sort of pH your soil is. So we're going to put this beautiful camellia then into this pot here. As I said, it's ericaceous compost, it's mixed with grit, there's some crocs down in the bottom as well, because they love some good drainage. So we're simply going to take the camellia out of the pot, and we're going to put it into this much bigger one here that I've prepared already. We're just putting some more compost around the outside firming it in nicely. It's already been very well watered. They'll probably need another drink as well. Okay, that should do for that one. So now we'll go on to the big one, onto my wife's. Let's get this one. So this one is actually called Camellia Principessa Baiocchi. And as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful flower. Let's very, very carefully take this one out. Oh, that's easy. It came out quite easy, didn't it? Yeah. And let's put this one into this pot. That be you have to be very careful with it as it's yours. And again, we will put some additional compost around the outside. Yeah, it's probably best if you can't say me. <laughs> the sun was shining a few minutes ago. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Now the sun has gone in and the wind is blowing and my wife says that she's cold. Oh dear. Okay, anyway, her beautiful camellia is now planted. So as I said, both of those are put into pots with ericaceous compost, mixed with some grit, and they're going to be put in a nice sheltered position. Camellias actually don't like full sun. They prefer shade, semi-shade. They're not that keen on the wind either. So we're going to be putting these into quite a sheltered position. And as it's really cold at night at the moment, probably initially they're going to go into a polytunnel. But then we'll take them out and put them into different places where we want them. But as you can see, that's two ways of buying camellia. Quite an expensive one, quite a cheap one. Both be brilliant in years to come. This one is just going to take a little bit longer to mature and to flower. Hope that you'll be able to get some camellias this year and that you'll have a beautiful display of flowers. Thank you ever so much for watching.